What's going on guys, CH from Village Park Source, and welcome back. Okay, so in this video, I wanna talk about some general syntax, some jQuery syntax that we're gonna be seeing a lot of, and I just wanna get you guys comfortable looking at it. So, first things first, I deleted that alert code from the last video, so you can go ahead and take that out. So, for this video, I wanna talk about the document ready function. So what I wanna do is I wanna put these in HTML paragraph text tags, and I can drop this down a little bit. Now, what I want to do, I want to go ahead and create some jQuery. So let's let the browser know that we're talking about JavaScript. Script type equals text forward slash JavaScript. A lot of people uh, capitalize the J right there. I don't know. I just think it's irrelevant and annoying. I'm not going to do it. And let's go ahead and close it out right now. Okay, so the first thing that we're that you will probably see when you're uh, typing jQuery or... Um, or trying to debug jQuery is this bad boy right here. Document ready function. I always never know how many closing tags I have. Just like this. And I'm going to go ahead and create a comment. Should should be good on tags right there. I hope so. Let me bring that up a little bit, clean up the code a little bit. Okay, and I'm just gonna create a little um, comment. The comment obviously doesn't show up in the browser, it's just for the user to create code or to debug. Basic syntax, basic syntax, syntax. And don't be confused, don't let this, this money sign right here confuse you with PHP, because for all, your, all you PHP developers out here, that's how you call a variable in PHP. Nothing to do with it completely different ball game, different ballpark, different sport. So the document ready function, what this does is that browsers read web pages just like humans read books or newspapers from top to bottom, left to right. Well, without this document, jQuery and JavaScript is a little bit different. The browser, if we didn't have this document ready function, the browser would run the whole page and then go back to this and load it in. So this would show up a little bit slower than the rest of the page if we did not have this document dot ready uh, function. It's kind of like on load, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it because we'll get into that in a couple videos. But don't get them confused. So like on load, if you want a slideshow to run, you're gonna want it to run as soon as the page starts. You're not gonna want the whole page to load and all that slow stuff. Maybe the server server slow that day. Whoever. GoDaddy or Bluehost isn't paying their bills. So that's what we do. We have document.ready function just so our code will run with the page and it doesn't wait until after the browser renders our doc type HTML all the way to our closing tag HTML just to run this. So I'm probably beating a dead horse. We want the page to load at the same time. That's why document ready function is going to be one of our best friends for this tutorial series. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to kind of jump ahead. I'm going to talk more about selectors in the next video, but I'll go ahead and give you an example. See, what jQuery does is it pulls in HTML and CSS, and in this instance, we're going to, we only have one thing. We don't have no CSS. All we have is paragraph text. So I'm going to go ahead and type that P right there to let J jQuery know that we want to do something to all of the pair of all of our paragraph text, all of our paragraph text. And we will... Actually, first things first, let's go ahead and save it and let's open it up so we can see this show up. This will help my example out a lot better. Let's go ahead and open this up with Safari. What's up, Village Park? Okay, but with this jQuery uh, method that I'm going to pull out, it's going to get rid of that. And this is as simple as it gets. Uh, hide. Just like that. Save it, let's go ahead and reload it. Disappeared, just like that. We just wrote a program in jQuery, congratulations. We wanna bring it back, we can get rid of this code or we can just bring back show. What's up Village Park? Okay guys, so we in this video we talked a little bit about the syntax as well as the document.ready function. Hopefully you guys are following along and in the next video we'll talk more about selectors. All right guys, I'll see you over there. 